What's up everyone? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com and today I have a new mouth to lung tank for you. That's right man, rocking it on the brand new SX Mini SL Class. And basically what this 3C Vape Savour or Saver, I think it's Saver, what this 3C Vape Saver has done is it's become my new mouth to lung setup. I basically shelved the Vandy Vape Berserker RTA for this one. And I basically shelved the SX Mini MX class for this brand new SX Mini SL class. Let me show it to you down low. We're going to be reviewing the SL class real soon separately. But let me show you the tank down low. I'm going to show you how to build it, wick it. We'll fill it up. We're going to come back on top. We're going to vape on it a bit. We'll talk cons and pros, and then we're out of here as usual. See you down low. All right, everyone. Welcome to the down low portion of this video. Today, we're going to be going over the 3C Vape Savour Mouth to Lung RTA made in conjunction with YouTuber Vaping Vic. All right, let's take a quick tour around the box. Some 3C Vape branding. Okay, check out all these colors, man. Look at this. Black, silver, red, gold, multicolor, pink, purple, blue, ultim, copper, bronze. I don't know if it actually comes in all these colors. I wish they would have sent me more than one because I would have liked to have done a giveaway on this one. But let me tell you something, man. If it does come in all those colors, I can tell you right now, I'm buying another one, maybe another two or three. All right. Let me show you what it comes with. Okay. You get one mouth to lung RTA, extra glass, and accessory bag. All right. Let's open this up and let me show it to you. All right. There's the packaging. Put the box to the side. Here is your user manual. We're going to file that to the side. All right. Here is your spare glass. Okay. You get a clear glass and an Ultim glass. Now here is your spare parts bag. Okay. Here's something very interesting in the spare parts bag. You see this post right here? This is a different post with a different airflow hole that really cuts it down severely so you can get a true mouth to lung vape off of it awesome job with that man I mean I'm really digging it I gotta tell you fantastic alright I'll show you the deck and then you'll understand it alright you also get an allen key included alright now let's take a look at the actual tank itself here is your drip tip, okay? They kind of got like a stepped up design right here. You know, one, two, three tiers, right? I get what they were going for. They were going for that high-end look that a lot of mouth-to-lung RTAs have. 510 drip tip with an Ultim tip right over there. All my other 510s fit nice and snug in there, okay? Here is your Ultim glass section, all right? On the bottom here, this is where your airflow is. You'll see there are three, three little you know circular holes right there okay same thing on the other side whatever you adjust on one side right we adjust it down the one happens on the other there is a stopper on the AFC it is kinda stiff I wish it was a little looser alright on the bottom here we have designed by 3C Vape and Vaping Vic gold plated 510 connection insulator ring stainless steel threading over here Okay, Savour Mouth to Lung RTA branding over here. All right, in order to take it apart, take the deck out, you simply unscrew the bottom like most RTAs, right? I'll show you the deck in a second. Look at that barrel section. Very, very conical design in there. They did a real nice job with it, okay? The Ultim section comes off, all right? You, it can easily be replaced with the glass section just like that, all right? Very, very simple to do. Okay, here is your deck section right here, all right? Nice beefy hex keys over here, top loaded. You load your coil in from the side right over there. Let me move the coil out of the way so I can show you the airflow. All right, I just want to show you the airflow. Right there, that's how it comes stock configured, okay? When you replace the post, what happens is that air hole gets cut down severely, Okay, so you can do a true mouth to lung vape. Here are your wicking channels right here for your cotton. Okay, 
it's a GTA style deck. If you can see, it's raised up from the base of the deck. Okay, threading over here is very smooth. Let me put my coil back down. Um, I've found that the best coil to run on here is a simple Clapton coil. I'm ohming out at about 0.25 and I'm getting a fantastic vape at like 25 watts. I mean, it's just fantastic, okay? Okay, now you see the size of that hole right there? Here's the here's the mouth to lung post and look at the difference. You see that? Okay, that hole is much smaller. Going to give you true mouth to lung vapors a real nice mouth to lung vape all right let me show you how to wick this thing put my coil back where it belongs okay you want to get it as close to that airflow as possible when you build this that'll give you the best flavor we're going to be using cotton bacon prime to wick today we'll have a link down below to it all right take a nice little piece give it a little twirl okay take your coil Feed it through and pull it through. All right, just like that. Now, wicking this thing is a little finicky, so you want to be careful, okay? Let me show you exactly how to wick it, all right? The best way to wick this thing is to cut your wicks right by the GTA deck, right there. You don't want to hang your wicks into this deck because you are going to get dry hits. Cut it right by that deck, okay? Now, the best way to wick this is to just gently tuck it in there. You don't want it hanging that far down. You want it. You want your wick actually high on this one because the more wicking you put in this, these are very small slots, you're going to choke that wick off. Okay? And that's exactly how you wick it. Your wick should be hanging just below the metal piece there. Okay? All right, once it's all wicked up like this, all right, now you want to juice up your coils a little bit, okay? Juice we're going to be using today is Caterpillar Juice Mad H. Guess that stands for Mad Hatter. This is one of those, like, fruity mystery flavor juices. I've been digging it, man. I've definitely liked it. It's a nice, fruity, all-day vape, okay? You want to just give some juice there, get those coils started, okay? Now... You take your tank section and you thread it on nice and easy, just like so. Your top cap comes off like this. I don't think I showed that down in the down low, okay? It's a top fill tank. Your top fill cap comes off like that, all right? Nice flat piece over here. Threading is really smooth. Nice juice ports over here. You can accommodate almost any bottle. All right, and then you just fill it up nice and easy like. All right, it's all filled up. Put your top cap back on. And now you're ready to vape. All right, let's cut back on top. Let's vape on it. All right, we'll talk about it a little bit. Cons, pros, and we're out of here. See you back on top. All right, everyone, we're back on top with the 3C Vape Saver RTA. This is a legitimate mouth-to-lung tank. There's no doubt about it. You take that extra deck piece and put it in there. For you die-hard mouth-to-lungers that like that super tight draw, you can definitely get that out of this tank, okay? Vaping Vic made this in conjunction with 3C Vape. He's a very popular UK YouTube reviewer. And let me tell you something, man. I get what he was going for. He made this thing look high-end. It looks to be a lot more expensive than it really is. I mean, for the most part, the last couple of years, the only legitimate mouth-to-lung tanks have really been high-end. It's only been the last year or so where companies have been coming out with legitimate mouth-to-lung tanks that are affordable. Before that, they really weren't that affordable. They did a great job on this one. They really did. I like that stepped-up cap design. It's got huge fill ports. It's my current favorite mouth-to-lung tank. I, like I said, I shelved the Berserker for it. The Berserker was it. This one's better. Uh, 
it is a legitimate mouth to lung tank but me personally i think it really really shines as a loose mouth to lung tank i like it with the bigger the 2.5 millimeter air hole installed i like it better that way but that's just because i like that type of drawer it does have better flavor with the one millimeter air hole but it's not my preference when it comes to draw it's that you know i definitely like a looser mouth to lung vape but that's just me personally you die hard mouth to lungers don't even hesitate just go buy it i'm telling you right now you can thank me later all right let's go over the cons and pros there's really only one con that i have on this rta believe it or not and that's that that afc ring right there is a little bit on the tight side i mean it, it they should have just loosened it up and it's kind of a shame because this thing would have been damn near perfect if they would have fixed that if it wasn't so tight pros there's a ton of them like i said before it's got a beautiful drawer we're going to give them a pro for that i'm going to give them a pro on the range of draw that it provides the user that's a definite pro okay super easy to build and wick we'll give them a pro for that 510 drip tip compatible pro all right spare glass love it pro big fill ports i mentioned that already they'll get a pro for that it's got a nice juice capacity for a mouth to lung tank two mls come on man you're just run, right now i'm running this thing at 24 watts this thing's a juice miser two mls is plenty of capacity okay great flavor i'm gonna give them a pro for that let's give them a pro for the conical design and the compressed design that definitely enhances the flavor i like that okay i'm also going to give them a pro because the grub screws are accessed from the top on the deck great job on that i like the gta style deck they're going to get a pro for that and for a mouth to lung tank the terminals they're absolutely huge that's fantastic too it makes it even easier to build on we're going to give them a pro for that as well i mean i really can't stop gushing about this thing this has become my morning coffee vape setup i run my custards my bakeries in here once in a while i'll drop a fruit in there to change things up but to be honest i like running my you know my cookie vapes my custard vapes things like that coffee vapes i run in here that's how i like it i like doing mouth to lung vaping when i'm having my morning cup of coffee okay the juice i've been using today i used the one that was on the fruity side i'm using caterpillar juice mad h kind of like a mystery fruity type of vape you know i'm digging it but i'll be honest with you i'm not going to run it in here again i'm going to run it on one of my bigger tanks i'm going back to custards and bakeries on this one but we'll have a link down below because it's a really good juice okay we'll also have a link down below as to where you can buy this awesome mouth to lung setup it's deuces jack approved for sure so make sure if you're into mouth to lung you check it out we'll have a link to our forum vapinginsider.com forward slash forum and hey man i've said it a million times already we're reviewers here we're not promoters we give it to you straight on every video so do us a favor hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button hit that notification button we're giving you honest content every day and that's it folks that's all i got for you today you make sure you keep living that vape life we're out of here until the next one deuces